Hi, I'm Alan Cylinder. And I'm his daughter, Chelsea Cylinder. And we're Cylinder Cylinder. And today we're here to discuss what I consider the disastrous remake of Annie, which is based, of course, on the Broadway show. And you wouldn't know it by seeing yeah, this movie. Yeah, I was movie. about to say that. <laughs> now, I thought this movie was a complete mess. And Chelsea seemed to find it a little more entertaining than I did. So, do you want to begin with this? Or? Yeah, I mean, like, the thing is, is that... It's not Annie, the Broadway musical. It's not, like, the same... It's loosely the same story. But um, it's just, like, if you were seeing Annie for the first time, I, I think that's kind of disconcerting because you think this is what Annie should be, and it's not. But it was, like, fine to sit there. Like, I was like, okay, I wasn't bored at all. I'm, I thought it was too long. I mean... It, it, there's it, it, so many problems with there, it, there's, though, there's so many but, problems. Yeah. The, 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 let's, let's start with the music. Okay. Uh, yes. <laughs> much of the music has been completely eliminated from the original Broadway production. Yeah. What remains are only two songs that are untouched, Tomorrow and Hard Knock Life. Yeah, and actually, um, when we were... Hard Knock Life is towards the beginning of the movie, and when we were watching it, we, we both came into this movie like being like, oh, we're going to see the worst movie of the year. Like, this is going to be terrible, but like so Which much it fun. Isn't. It no, is it's not. not. But um, Hard Knock Life actually made the film seem promising for me because they didn't change the music at all, and I thought like it was like a fun number, and I was like, okay, I mean, if all the numbers are like this, this movie won't be that bad. But it is that bad, because <laughs> what they do is take the songs, a few of the songs that remain from the Broadway show, and change not only the lyrics, but the music. They try it's to modernize bizarre. all the music. It's bizarre, because the song starts off sounding with the, in the first few bars like the song should sound. And all of a sudden, it's a completely different song. And just like, why? Why, why? why is that God necessary? God knows. God knows. The original score was written by Charles Strauss and uh, Martin Charnin. And now, for some reason, Will Gluck, the director, and uh, two music people, Greg Kirsten and Sia, saw fit to change their wonderful lyrics and, and worse, their music into different music altogether. Music you've never heard before. Now, since they paid money to buy these songs and buy the rights to film Annie, why not use the songs? Yeah, and also uh, to talk about the musical, the new songs certainly aren't better. No, oh my God, no, they're worse. Like they're they're pretty bad. The songs, if you yeah. listen to the lyrics, like it's bad. Um, also, if you like, if we're talking about musical numbers in general, some of the musical numbers, just the staging of them is like really bad. I thought they, it was they, they couldn't be clumsier. There was some numbers, like the the final number. I didn't have like that much of a problem with it, but the two main characters, Annie and um, well, who's supposed to be Daddy Warbucks, but his name is Will Stacks, played by Jamie Foxx. Yeah, who's good, but we'll get to him later. Um, <laughs> if you're the, still if you're still awake and watching <laughs> us, but. Um, but it's, like, funny because the two of them are singing, and then everybody's just in the back, like, just swaying ridiculously, <laughs> it, it, and they're it, it, just it, it, smiling, it, it, and you're just like, what are you, what are they doing in the background? It, it, it's, it's very it's, funny. Th th this director has no idea, he barely knows how to make a movie, and he has no idea how to make a musical, despite the fact that this movie has lots of singing, and people sing to each other just like a traditional musical. There's a lack it of It does not feel like a musical mm -hmm. because he has no idea what he's doing. Yeah, so on a different note, let's talk about the actors. Okay, I thought that the, that the, that the main girl... Um, Convention A. Wallace. Yes, I thought she was fine. Um, I thought she was fine. I she can't sing, unfortunately, but she's fine in the she's, movie. Not, I, I really didn't fine. think she could sing very it's well. It's not like it, it's. I, I didn't have a problem with that. And I, I thought Jamie Foxx was the best in the movie. I thought like I liked him from the start, um, and I just thought he was. I just thought he was funny. I thought he captured the role well. I, I so. liked him at first, and then he grew off me. Rose Byrne was fine, but she has little to do. Yeah, she's the fine. The worst two people in the movie for sure are Bobby Cannavale. I've never seen him that bad. Never seen him bad, actually. He honestly and, didn't uh, bother me. And uh, me Cameron Diaz, who, is, who yeah. I like very much, generally. That but, really uh, surprised me. Because but she is awful. I thought it really surprised me because I thought she would be the best one in the movie by far, and I thought she would kind of be the saving grace of the movie. There because is no saving just, grace. Well, it just the seemed like the grace. role for her, because especially coming from bad teacher, I thought she would just be like good as Miss Hannigan. Yeah, because it's the same kind of exaggerated yeah. role, except it isn't, because... Under Will Gluck's wonderful direction, nobody is good, nobody sounds good, the music stinks, and the movie Jamie Fox is, is useless. I still like Jamie Foxx. Now, here's the saving grace. You can go out today and pick up 
the DVD or Blu-ray of the 1982 movie directed by John Huston and actually see some semblance of how Annie should be on the Broadway stage. I would give this movie one and a half cylinders. I think I would give it two cylinders. Well, that's very generous. <laughs> anyway, until next time when we see you in a better movie, hopefully, this is Alan Cylinder. And Chelsea Cylinder. Saying, see you at the movies. Bye.